Jared, like a, a tough loss on the weekend, but personally, a um, couple of nice goals and some good forward pressure. How did you feel you went on the weekend? Uh, besides the loss, I, I think my game was was okay. Didn't really get off to a really good start, but as the game went on, I sort of got it, got more involved and felt my game was slowly picking up. But it's something I'm still working on to get that starting straight away in the first quarter. But other than that, it was, sort of, it was a good game. We only lost by two two points, so other than that. I, Pretty happy with a lot of positive came from it. So, yeah, you've sort of been uh, sort of in and out the, the couple of years you've been here with injuries and form and whatnot. Do you, after the weekend, do you feel like you can match it at, at AFL level now? Yeah, since after the weekend, I've certainly got a lot of confidence each week that went by. Every game I play, I usually pick up a bit more. But other than that, in and out, it's been a bit tough, but it's something for me to learn from and just work on. Mate, can you tell us about um, going back to the to the uh, knee fall? Like I saw you play one or two games there, and you're clearly above that level. What what was your instructions going back to the knee fall, and what were you told to work on? What have you learnt from that um, from that experience? I've just been told to work on the same things I would want to do in the AFL level, and that's mainly just working on my tackling pressure, my, a lot of my defensive work, and just my intensity and effort, like with my running. So. Just a lot of things, not too much. I didn't want to fill my head with a lot of things. Just focus on those main things, and you can see they're slowly getting back up and doing pretty good with those. You still obviously got the instinct that um, goal in the fourth quarter. You got the ball so quickly on onto your boot, so obviously you, uh, you're encouraged to continue that sort of uh, flair and instinctive part of your game that you've got. Yeah, well, that's what we're down there for, I guess, down the forward line. So a small forward, we just got to get to work, get to the feet of the pack, even at the back, and. Yeah, I was pretty lucky. The ball actually came and landed straight into my hand, so I just dropped it on the boot, and yeah, it just happened. Mate, you, so you've uh, coming towards the end of your second season. You've had to make the longest trip in the country, probably coming uh, from WA over to to being drafted by the Suns. How have you found the the first couple of years and sort of integrating into a, a totally different part of the country? Uh, the first two years, I think they just went by like that. They went so fast. It's first it's pre-season. That's probably the main bit that makes it. Take, take, take its time, you know, because I don't think really everybody likes pre-season, but when it hits a in-season, time just flies. Start off first round and then look pretty much nearly through the season. So, mate, what have you learnt, um, I guess, uh, of yourself as a person? A couple of years, you're at a, you know, 18, 19, 20, you're still so young and um, so many different changes in your life. What have you learned as a person over your first couple of seasons? Uh, I've sort of picked up that you've got to be more professional about everything you do on and off field because even off field you get watched more than on field pretty much but it's a lot of things you certainly pick up about just pretty much everyone here has got to be a bit of a leader and got to stand up sometimes so yeah. Mate, do you feel uh, part of the club? I guess you've got some decisions to make about your you know, your, your future, like how, how do you see things panning out? Um, yeah, no, I certainly do. I feel part of the club I guess. Um, yeah no I've really been enjoying it up here on the coast they've really looked after me and so there's something that I've got to give back to them. I'm certainly still thinking about it. I'm a manager and I'm still speaking at the moment so I've just got to leave it with that and see how it all goes. Okay well look at this weekend so you've got the Giants there red hot at the moment. How do you go about slowing them down? Uh, we we'll sort of just do our own training I guess as we always do. Analyse every team each week and we we'll just look at them as another opposition, find their weakness and we'll just all work on that and ways that we can match them or do better I guess and just leave it at that, we'll see the outcome on the weekend. He's got a little bit of confidence like the past, I know Rocket's spoken about the past sort of six or seven weeks that years have been quite consistent, do you feel good as a team that you are still improving? Yeah no certainly we are still improving, um, it doesn't really matter what players we have in and what players we have out, we've, this last few weeks we've brought in a lot of younger what is it just starting up and it doesn't really matter what position or who they are, we can always match another team and we're at our best. It's just we've got to come in and fill that role and as long as you play that role everything will be done and we can match anybody I guess.